It's training camp season, and today we're looking at the Atlanta Falcons, getting a quick look at Michael Penix. We're going to watch him work through some drills, toss the ball around, and everything else. Also talk some ball. Before we do, you click that subscribe button right now. We're looking at these practice clips from training camp every single day. We're looking at your rookies, your favorite players, guys from your favorite team, guys coming back from injury. You want to see if they got that pop back in their step? It's going to be right here. These guys are going to be on your fantasy team here soon. You want to see what's going on with them? Click that subscribe button. Stop missing out. It's an a la carte of videos. You just watch what you want and who you want. To... But here's Michael Penix throwing a ball downfield here. Here's another one working through some drills, getting it out there. We'll loop this talk ball as we always do. Of course, Kirk Cousins is going to be the starter. Michael Penix, though, from what I've read from OTA's mini camp, training camp, for what it's worth, looking good. Things will come out more clearly once the pads are on, once we're in preseason games, once he gets his opportunity. It is the Kirk Cousins show, but he is gelling well with these veteran pass catchers. We're catching some good clips, as you saw that one with Drake London. And the thing about this, a lot of people question this pick. And of course, opportunity costs and everything else. But I like to sit back and put myself in their shoes and just think about everything that's going on. And they had to live through that Desmond Ritter era. And they don't want to do that again. And they had a quarterback here. They got their veteran. But he's also come back from Achilles issue. And also... Not a super long contract. It's not like you're married. So when you have to make the move from Kirk Cousins, and after you're going through that hardship of Desmond Ritter and company from last year, and maybe even prior if you want to mention that, they just want to feel good to go. That's what I believe. They just want to feel good to go. They just want to have a smooth transition. They just want to be able to move forward. They don't want to go through that era of Matt Ryan being gone and have to figure out quarterback. They don't feel like they have to worry about that. They got their apprentice quarterback, Michael Penix. They had Kirk Cousins for the now. It's Kirk Cousins' show. But if for whatever reason, calf strains, Achilles issues, whatever it is, comes up or injuries or starts to play on the downturn of his career, Michael Penix can step in. He's got time to develop, look good at Washington. Many months ago, prior to that Michigan game, he was considered a potential first-round pick. Then after that game, the rumors died on that quick. Then we got to draft season. We got to the Senior Bowl. Nobody was really talking about him much during draft season. Then we get to the draft. It was surprising. Now, I'm not going to argue the pick one way or the other. I, I understand their me mentality, but I can also make the argument about... What else was left on the board and other pathways and you could patch up the quarterback position later. But also the trauma Desmond Ritter made impacted this for sure. And the quarterback situation prior to this and then them feeling that they needed to be good. And plus Michael Penix isn't a horrible prospect at the quarterback position. Is not. Like he's good at getting the ball downfield. He was considered a rising draft prospect even when he was at Indiana. Then he comes at Washington and just becomes productive, gets better over time, gets more productive over time, and he's a player that can distribute the rock. He can get it downfield, get it quick with accuracy, stand tall in the pocket. He's older. He's been through injuries. But once quarterbacks start to develop and hit, and they start to play well, and they start to win games, you kind of look past that until they start losing games. So it doesn't really matter as long as he hits. The, the age on a spreadsheet says the odds are stacked against him due to that. But you can also say there are traits in his game and things that he's done throughout his career that let you know that there's potential here. There's upside here. We're learning with Kirk Cousins. He's a guy you can model your game after. 
And again, his opportunity may come sooner than later. He's looking good in camp. He's looking good in training camp, OTAs, getting the ball out. One of the fastest releases in the 2024 draft class. Not the fastest release. Good throwing it downfield with accuracy. He's got good weapons around him. He'll always have that because Atlanta's stacked and built. And it was a head scratcher. You already got your quarterback. And I get it. I get it. There's other positions and other players on the board. Could have went wide receiver. You could you could have went you could have went everywhere. You could have went everywhere. And I'm not arguing for or against it, even though it sounded like it. But when you put yourself in their shoes and you made that pick and you want to develop a quarterback, and I know you probably could have paid down on like a Spencer Rattler, who's a very good developmental quarterback. There is some upside to his game. There are some good traits to his game. And a lot of people were down on Jordan Love. A lot of people were down on a lot of other quarterbacks that have played well. A lot of people were up on a, a lot of other quarterbacks that sucked, that did not hit to their upside. That being said, quarterback's the hardest position to scout, hardest position to play in all sports. The fact that they wanted to feel like they were good to go when they have to transition from Kirk Cousins, because you got to transition from everybody, is something that you want to take note. But when I look at Michael Penix, I'm seeing some upside here. He could be the quarterback of the future sooner than later. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. One thing for watching, catch you on the next video.